Well, now for an outlook on oil and the world markets in light of an expected rate hike. The chairman and CEO of Morris Group Companies joins us on set. Thank you, as ever, for being with us. Thank you for having me. Well, we're seeing oil here hovering over just $40 a barrel. What's your expectation? I think oil is going to keep going lower. I see for the early to mid-2016, I see it going to about $30 a barrel. Um, and the reason behind it is, as, as you know, um, everyone in OPEC met last week in Vienna, and they outright came out and said they're not cutting production. But what's very interesting about that is there's many, many countries out there that strictly really count on all their oil surplus to support the country, countries like Russia, countries like Venezuela, Nigeria, even Iraq. 90, 95% of their oil sales go to support the country. So when you're talking about such high percentages like that, they're only producing more, which is pushing down the demand and obviously pushing down the supply. So I think oil is going to keep going lower for a while now. Indeed, very shocking here. They weren't able to reach a deal. But what about the markets taking such a beating because of this oil slump? Yeah, I think people are very, very confused right now. I think oil's been spiking. Oil's been going up and down. Um, and um, also, more importantly, I think it was yesterday that just came out that there was actually 3.6 million barrels of of undersupply coming from the U.S., which is actually really positive. So oil actually spiked, and then it came back down again. So there's a lot of mixed signals, you know, coming out of the global markets of what's the future of oil, but I think it's lower again. Very interesting here. We also have the Fed coming with its rate hike. What do you expect that impact to be for the markets? Oh, wow. That's going to be very, very interesting. As you know, um, you know, I, I always predicted that early 2016 was going to be the time where the Fed was going to hike. But now it's looking more that everyone's talking about, you know, sometime before New Year's. Um, I think it's possible. I would love it, you know, if it happened in early 2016. I think it would be very beneficial for the global markets. But again, she wants to kind of get it over with. So I think if she does do it, it's more of a technical hike. I think it will be minimal. In somewhere around 25 basis points. And again, just to say that it's kind of like a one and done and it's over and done with. And even if she does, it's going to be very, very slow, very, very dragged out, you know, for the coming year. So it is possible. I'm hoping it's going to be for 2016. And I think it's going to benefit many of the global, um, many of the global economies if she waits. Interesting. Uh, but what about the emerging economies? They're expected to get hurt by this move. Yeah, well, you know, you know, they're kind of like a mixed bag right now. They have so many other problems happening, like in the world. Um, you know, there's obviously there was more bad news out of China, more out of Japan, more out of Europe. You know, Draghi just started his QE program not too long ago. And as of last week, he's pumping billions and billions of you know, of more money, you know, back into the market. So, um, you know, it could affect it. I'm, I'm really hoping it doesn't, but I think that may be the catalyst for her kind of pushing it off till early 2016. Fascinating. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.